let me just finish with this here. Daniel, when I think of Kamala Harris, I think of Hillary Clinton as well. There's some kind of something going on with their laugh. You know, my dad studied a lot of this in terms of laughter. And he talked to me a lot about the laughter of the demons, of the devils, in uh, Brothers Karamazov's novel. And uh, there's a certain, you know, there's a joyous laughter, there's a divine laughter, there's a laughter that reveals something beautiful from the Lord, but there's also a demonic laugh. Um, what do you make of Kamala's laugh and of Hillary's laugh? There's something kind of frightening there. There's nobody home. That's what we're seeing when they laugh. I mean, when normal people laugh, there it's authentic. It's it, it breaks down the fence mechanisms. It shows authenticity. Um, they're trying to show authenticity when they laugh, but they can't show it because the laugh is fake. They're fake. There's really nothing there. These are people who have sold their souls uh, to climb the political ladder. Whoever they were, whoever they might have been, is completely absent. It's completely gone there. Um, they're really vessels for power. They're aspiring to get to power. That's what they have spent all their lives doing. There's really nothing there. I mean, you think about Hillary Clinton, what has her life amounted to? It's amounted to this desperate push to get into the White House, which you know she only was able to do by marrying Bill Clinton and accepting all his abuses. And look at Kamal Harris. There are no children there. Uh, at her age, she's unlikely to have any children. Uh, she's dedicated her whole life to power, including sleeping with Roy Brown at a very young age, uh, which, you know, much like Bill Clinton, it's just this disgusting, depraved thing you do just to get closer to power. And now that Kamal Harris is this close to power, she's right there behind Biden, and she's got to put up with him and suffer him until he's shoved aside. So they've made this kind of really transactional devil's bargain. They've had to do disgusting things to get here, and yet they're still not even there. They don't actually have the power that they want. It's all empty. Some kind of very morbid, dark comedy in some kind of swamp, or maybe not a comedy, but a tragedy.